What up y'all, Jason Heine here, Emulator Review, back at you with a video game review. And today we are taking a look at a magnificent game called Blaze Rush. Produced by Targum Games and released in October of 2014. This is available on Steam, PS3, and Oculus VR. hey -o! And I want to give a shout out to the folks over at Targum Games for giving me this review code. It just so happens that this game is right up my alley. As most of you know, this type of game I really, really enjoy. It is a top-down, isometric, dynamic, arcade racing survival game. Wow, say that 10 times fast health bars, leveling caps, brakes, bah, who needs all those? Any true arcade racer knows all you need is a throttle and steering and maybe some weapons thrown in there. And that's exactly what you get in this game. It's just one of those perfect pick up and play type of games. I mean, honestly, all you need is the joystick to go in the direction you wanna go. And then you have two buttons that shoots two different types of weapons. That's it. Anybody can play this. And wow, what a blast it is. Some key features on the game, it features up to four players locally. Yes, so you can couch play this baby and up to eight players online. All right, so check this out. So what you can do in theory is you can have up to four people sitting with you playing on the same machine. You then can go online and get four more for up to eight. So you can have four at the couch, four online, like mind blown here, folks. And I'm so happy to see this feature implemented in games like this. The game has tons of different tracks and different planets and environments, 16 different cars and a variety of tons of different guns. When you play through the levels, you get graded in like a trophy system or medals, I believe they call it, depending on how well you did during that race. Collecting these medals will then unlock other courses, other vehicles and other guns. Blaze Rush features three different game modes, basically your good old fashioned race to the finish, one that they call King of the Hill, and then my favorite, Death Race. Flat out racing to the finish line to be first is self-explanatory, so moving on to King of the Hill, you basically have to stay in first place the longest. You have to get your score up to 50, and it counts up to 50 while you're in first place. And giving just the complete, utter chaos and carnage from all of the weapons that you get in this game, it sounds like it wouldn't be any fun, but when you actually play it and look at it, it is so much fun, and in a way, it can be kind of stressful. The other game mode that really is my favorite is Death Race. In that mode, you race, and there's this huge, like, grinder, truck, freaky thing chasing you. And, of course, it is going faster and faster, catching up and getting closer and closer to you. The person in last place usually will get run over, and then as it gets closer and closer to you, you have to try to stay in the lead before it takes you out. And that is very stressful and so much fun. Oh, my God. And speaking of all the carnage and chaos caused by the weapons, I want to take a moment and talk about the actual game engine itself. I think the game looks really, really nice. I know some people say it kind of looks dated, this and that. I really don't think so. I, I think the game looks great. And as you can see, it's running really, really smooth on my five-year-old PC here. And on, on top of that, I think the physics in this game are by far just really, really top notch. I mean, the vehicles, the way that they handle, the way that they interact, with the world and the weapons and how they bounce off walls and hit opponents. It's just everything about it is just really, really nice. And I think that's one of its strongest points if you see is the physics. I really, really enjoy it and it really adds to the gameplay. It's really the simplicity of it. And I love the soundtrack. That sounds really nice. The music kind of like house techno type stuff. It's really cool. I enjoy that. The menu system is really easy to navigate. You know, it's not too complicated. It doesn't do anything crazy. It does have some really cool achievements. For instance, I did a 360 no scope which of course is you know a reference from the uh, you know shooter genre my vehicle was hit and I was spinning around but I also had a machine gun so I just let off the machine gun and it gave me that achievement it's just, it's just really neat <laughs> and and funny to see some of those achievements but super awesome action-packed racing at its best I love rock and roll racing I love games like that of course RC Pro-Am and even games like Motorock you know this is 
a game that I feel if you just want to pick up and play great action anyone can play it this is your jam right here although the online multiplayer wasn't super busy I was able to log in there and find a game and join a group of people and play for a little bit of course I got my ass handed to me <laughs> because I really haven't played too much of it to be able to understand when and where and how to use these weapons and so I played more and more and more and what I've realized after playing it more is that you need to figure out the proper way to use those weapons and of course like any racing game knowing the map and how to turn and when to turn on the map really helps but it's really all in the weapons on this game if you can maximize your weapons that is going to be your key to victory anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed the review as always please make sure to subscribe follow me on all my social media and the link to download this game on steam is in the description bar below if you do pick it up on steam let me know would love to do a little couch multiplayer going on there take care you guys